how are you today? I am fine. My name is Mr. Kraus. All of the videos that I do for the TI Inspire mini tutorials can be found at my website, at our website, www.nkinfinity.com. N stands for Newman. I'm about to show you who, he is, who she is. K stands for Kraus, and Infinity is how long your math class takes. Uh, so all of our videos, like I said, can be found on our website. Shh, shh, there it is. There's my partner in crime, Miss Vicki Newman. She's crazy, but she's one heck of a teacher, let me tell you. Um, and if you click on New York State Teachers, probably it'll be under students as well, but New York State Teachers, click on videos. I talk to you about the calculator we use. I say where you can get it. I'll try to keep this up to date where the cheapest price is. Yes, I know $130 is crazy ridiculous. Look at your shoes. They probably cost more. So $128 to say to use it for five, six years, use it at college, not a bad investment. And let's say you decide, Psh, I'm going to be an English major. Okay, senior year, sell it to a sophomore. Get 90 bucks for it. They save a little money, you save a little money. If you need one, ask last year's kids. If you can't swing that, maybe $27.50 and use this, this link right here, and it'll take you where you can buy it and use it for $27.50. Anyway, all the videos are going to be down here. Uh, if I believe they need an explanation, I'll probably put a short explanation on what they're what you can click on it for and use. Um, anyway, that's that. Let's get out of that. And we're gonna today we're gonna talk about logarithmic regression. Not a difficult topic. It sounds really complicated, but it's not. Plot a bunch of points and put a log curve on it. Uh, and we're gonna be using the TI Inspire CX calculator. Excuse me. So here we go. The company shape table shows the wind speed and corresponding wind chill factor when the air temperature is 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Write a logarithmic regression equation for this set of data, rounding coefficients to the nearest 10 thousandths. Use this equation to find the wind chill factor the nearest tenth of a degree when the wind speed is 40 miles an hour. I might do that work. I might not. I'm really just here to show you how to write the linear regression equation. And that table looks terrible. I don't know why, but whatever. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here now. Let's say, cancel. You're here and you click on, by the way, this over here looks like a spreadsheet, right? This looks like a spreadsheet over here. And so that's what you want to do is you want to go into the spreadsheet mode. That's this green thing. But you never want to have multiple tabs open. You see how you got 1.1 and 1.2 open? And that's because I forgot what I used over here. But let's say I said, oh, wait, uh, my variable has to be time. And I say, okay, time. Oh, wait a second. Where did all that crap come from? That's what happens when you have multiple tabs open. You truly do not want to do that. So just click the red X, choose no. Start over, make sure you're in tab 1.1. Okay, so the first column is this X, and since they call it X and they call it Y, I'm just gonna call it X, and I'm gonna call this Y. And I'll type them in. Common mistake made, any time of regression, any type of regression, a common mistake made is not typing in the values correctly. So I'm gonna pick those up a little bit so you can see them better. Oops. And I'll go back over. Okay, 4, 5, 12, 4, 5, 12, 16, 22, and 31. All right, 3, 1, 3, 1, negative 5, negative 7. This is going to be a weird one, negative 10, and, um, excuse me, and, oops, and negative 12. I hope those are going in as negatives. I think they are. Yeah, it fixed them. Okay, you want to make sure, after you've typed in that last one, you're going to be here, but you want to make sure you're in this cell. You don't want to make sure you don't have the cell selected because now you're ready to type stuff in. You don't want to be in type in mode. You don't want to be in data entry mode. You want to just have it highlighted. So click it, make sure it's blue. Not up here, this thing. This is ready to put in a new cell title. I don't want that. You're just going to click it there. If you have it like this, you'll know you have it like that when you click in menu and statistics and you see how these are all grayed out. You can't do anything with these. See how you can't click on that? I can't click on that. I can't click on that. So get out of it. By the way, if you get into a menu like, oh, I want to be in data and then I want to be in random and then I want to be in integer. And I'm like, oh, wait, no, I don't. I want to get out of that. Hit the escape button. Just keep hitting the escape button. All right. So exponential regression, not bad, or logarithmic regression. We're going to pick menu, 
statistics, stat calculations, and we're going to go down until we find logarithmic regression. Don't see it, don't see it, don't see it, don't see it, don't see it. But there is an arrow here at the bottom. On yours, you'll probably have to actually click on it. Mine, I just hover over it. If you want to go back up, hit the up arrow. If you want to go back down, hit the down arrow. And now I see logarithmic regression. It's B. I can either click B or, like, if I can click B I can, or I can click on it. It doesn't matter which. All right. We have an X list. In this case, it's easy. And a Y list. And I click OK. And there's my regression equation. I can't really see it. If you click on it and you look down here, anytime you click on a cell and highlight it in blue, down here at the bottom, it will tell you exactly what's in that cell. So if you can't read it all, at least go down there and check it out. So come back over here, highlight this, scroll up a little bit. So All right. So I want to write my equation. Well, my equation is going to be y equals, common mistake, forgetting the y, y equals a plus the natural log of x. Okay, I need to write down what A equals. I need to write down what B equals. In this case, A is 13.0134. Now, uh, 2, 9, 3, 4, 3, 6. W w where am I getting those numbers from? Again, if you highlight the cell and you look down here, 0, 1, 3, 4, 2, 9, 3, 4, 3, so on and so forth. I like this one. Negative 7.314858858. Um, I forgot something. Do you see a B in my equation? So I'm like, where am I? I, I know I, I can see this. I'm going to put the A here. But where's the B? What did I do? What? The B is right here. I just forgot it. So I go back up here and I said, oh, there's the B. It's right there. So the B goes right there. All right. Now I'm ready to write my equation. Y equals, but I don't know where it said to round to. Round to the nearest, oh, ten thousandths place. I'm going to highlight that. Ten thousandths place. Tenths, hundreds, thousands. That's the ten thousandths place. Four decimals. One, two, three. That's the ten thousandths place. So y equals 13.0134 plus, oops, b is negative. How about we go negative? Minus, I don't want plus a negative. That looks stupid. Plus, minus 7.3149 times the natural log of x. Um, all this thing said was find to the nearest tenth of a degree when the wind speed is 40. Notice the x value is the wind speed, so I'm going to put, four, I would just put 40 in there. I'm not going to do that. It doesn't matter. I just want you to be able to do linear regression. You just plug 40 in, whatever you get, you get. All right, we're ready to go. So let's take a look at this account. Okay, one more example. Savings account initially has a balance of $500. There's our initial balance. The number of years, T, money grows, grow the balance, B dollars, blah, blah, blah. So let's see. Yeah, this is a kind of a confusing one. Uh, I want to write as B is the independent variable. How long did it take to get $500? How long did it take to get $1,000? How long did it take to get $1,500 and so on? So this is actually the independent variable. This is the independent and this is the de dependent. In other words, this is the X and this is the Y. So just be careful about that. So we're going to go into our thing. Remember, we don't want to be in another tab. So we red X and choose don't save. Go back into spreadsheets. Now, they called this B for balance, so I'm going to call it balance. Oh, you can't, you see how that changed? Normally it's like this, and then as soon as I press B and I click enter, and it says, oh, hey, you can't use BL, BAL. It thinks that's a function that the calculator uses. So if you ever get that error, all it's saying is BAL is a function that TI recognizes. So click OK, and then just type in uh, balance. I think it's ANC, isn't it? Looks better. And balance is ANC. And then years. OK. So this just went up by 500. Started at 500, 1,000. Let me, get, let me get it so I can actually see it. So we'll do this. Uh, 
Oh, there we go. Now I can see them all. 500, 1500, 2000, 2500, 3000, 3500, and 4000. Uh, zero, that's what we started with. It took 13.9 years to get 1,000. 21.9 years to get 1,500. 27.7 years. 32.2, 35 38.9, and 41.6. Make sure, okay, again, make sure this is highlighted, not selected. Just highlight it. Make sure you're not in data entry mode. Just make sure it's red, blue. Go into menu, statistics, stat calculations. It's not there. You got to scroll down to logarithmic regression. Now remember, balances are deep or independent variable in this case years is our dependent variable click OK and there's our equation the other thing you can do if you don't really want to look down here you can always come hover over here until you, do you see how that's a it changes from an arrow to a line you can do that on your calculator it changes from an arrow to a line you can click you got to click on this D button so move around until it hovers over click for like two or three seconds, let go, and it'll turn into a hand like that. As soon as you let go, it'll turn into a hand, and you can just scroll and drag it to the right. Okay, so now I'm ready to write over here. Y equals A times, oh, wait a second. Sorry, we're doing logarithmic. Cancel. We're doing logarithmic. So A plus B, almost forgot that again, times the natural log of X. Write down what A is. Now I don't have to look down the bottom. There it is, negative 124.2499032.52. Probably enough. B equals 19.9. The reason you write all these down is to show the greater that you use the calculator and you got the numbers from them, not from your neighbor's paper. So write down. It's harder to copy all of those digits than it is just to copy a couple. So if you write them all down, that shows the greater. Hey, I did the work on my own. Shows you're not cheating. We don't like cheaters. Cheaters just fail in life. You're going to end up being miserable. Round to the hundreds place. So let me highlight the hundreds place. So here's our answer. Y equals negative 124.25 plus 19.99 times the natural log of X. That's it. There she goes. That is logarithmic regression. There's my equation, and I'm finished. All right, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Get, send me a comment. If you don't see a video that you want to see on my list, nkinfinity.com, shoot me an email. Shoot us an email. One of the two of us, probably me. She may do the prep work, and I'll do the video work, but we'll get it done for you, okay? And I'm talking from Algebra 1 through Precalculus, AP Statistics, my part, one of my partners, one of my friends, colleagues, the AP Stats teacher, I can get some information about that, or calculus, anything. Let me know, and we'll get something. Hopefully, we'll get it up for you quickly, okay? Take it easy, guys. Have a good one.